Mr. Eko, we know that uh, uh, the tourism business here in Greece is the number one export business, mm -hmm. if you can say that. But now with uh, the 23 VAT VAT in our islands and uh, um, the taxes, the high taxation and in the tourist business, uh, it's going to make us not so much competitive if we see the prices in France, they have six uh, percent VAT in Germany, even lower in Berlin and mm -hmm. in some, some other cities. So how are we going to be competitive with uh, so hard the third memorandum? Okay, uh, I, I think I, the rise in the VAT both in the food and beverage, which is at 23 percent, and in the accommodation, which is at 13 percent, is indeed going to make us less competitive and we think it's going to hit harder uh, the businesses that are less branded and the destinations that are less branded than the ones that are branded and they have a kind of a monopolistic, if I may so say so in quotation marks, uh, position. So yes, they're going to be become less competitive and to be more specific, perhaps these are the, uh, these are the destinations that sell mostly through tour operators uh, because tour operators have very low margins and so they, they look very much at pricing bef um, when they decide which destination or which um, business to promote through their channels. Uh, on the other hand, what, we, what, what is uh, positive about uh, Greek tourism is that uh, over the years it has shown that it's a very good and strong uh, product. Uh, this year the, um, the, the tourism increased despite all the difficulties uh, of the country and although it absorbed a big uh, cut from the Russian market which dropped by cl close to f uh, 50% so we think this is not going to happen again next year, we think this has been absorbed more or less. So we are optimistic that these factors will work to our benefit and hopefully we'll have uh, political and, con and social stability, political stability and, and social peace that will help uh, with, a, with incoming tourism to the country. Can the tourist business, uh, with the help of uh, the Greek state, um, have a better brand name like the French wine where the price does not matter because the brand name is huge? Uh, I think some destinations have already, some destinations and some businesses have uh, already become branded. So uh, this is indeed the case. Uh, for example, some of the Cycladic Islands are world famous on their own and perhaps a bit, uh, you know, people think of them independently without necessarily thinking of the broader uh, situation. Uh, the the involvement of the state and the private sector together uh, in promoting the country and in doing things that will build this brand uh, will definitely help.